Okay, folks. Just like I was saying, basically Puerto Rico area, but Colombia just a little bit farther south. Heavy action, 7.4, 7.1, 7.1, as you can see there. Uh, let me go ahead and go over to the latest data here that we got here. I'll pump our screen up a little bit here on size. Running on the fly at the pub. A lot of people make guesses, and they guess pretty darn good. Uh, never presume and assume too much, though. Maybe I just got a noise recording, and I'm not really at the pub. And So that's our lead. Uh, what we got here, we can scroll through here real fast. 4.6 in Egypt. There's your 7.2 action, 7.4. So basically, USGS knocking down again, and look at how the activity has been. It started up with a 7.3, and then went to 7.8 almost an eight and then we went to uh as you can see here almost an eight and then we go to seven point zero to two three and four on up sorry about the curse you're getting stuck on that there we go so columbia shaking its ass off and basically when i showed you the data go back and watch my last two or three videos been making tons of videos folks and i i don't really apologize it's just there's so much going on again we're going in and we're just starting this fall solstice. So, and like I said, all those heavy objects are coming by. I got RSOE up and we'll basically be able to get that information there. I can plop over here and we're back on the earthquake info. Now I need to go check the tsunami information out on this uh, one here. We'll open that up. Open link and we'll put that in a new tab. Hopefully we can get that to open up in a new tab. And we got growing, that going up here, British Columbia, got family up there. Uh, I want to say hello to my cousins up there. Anyway, uh, basically, and no, I'm not Canadian, ladies and gentlemen, 100% big-ass American prick, okay? But there we go. We got 5-2 up there in Canada, in British Columbia. And then we will come down here, and we will try to lengthen it out, and we'll see what's going on around the world. Now, folks, your eyes are not fooling you. Matter of fact, I'll just point on this one here because I'd be able to read that. And, yes, we got a lot more action going on in America right now than we do any other area, okay? And Columbia had this big action here. And let's see what this one's even reporting much. They're showing a 4.3, okay? So, basically, this one's behind on the info. And let's take a look at, since I got the shot of the sun up there, we'll take that up there and take a look at that. Now, as you can see, they're blocking out. And also, I had two up a minute ago, and I'll actually be able to pull two up. Now, remember, when we go to the other camera, it should flip. We should look at the other side. So pay attention that they're blocking there. And then let's look what we got on the other camera. And there's lots of smaller comments, but you have to remember that this is hella large, ladies and gentlemen, because this idea that that's more than likely just as big as Jupiter or something like that. Okay? Here's camera two. So we got a flare in flares, but we got a CME there. You can't miss that there. And you also can see a planet back there. And then the idea that the actual factual, this is all real live. I mean, damn fresh data shots. Okay, Navy ain't going to lie to you. And they're not something to the left they're not wanting you to see. Now remember, they had it blocked out on the other shot too, okay? So basically, it is the same side. should be the same camera. It's probably, this is basically H1B, I believe, okay? I'll have solar artists up in a minute, too. Just remember, the Earth is more than likely over here, because this is B. This is shooting from behind, so that means to the right, there. And even A, A is always to your left, okay? So the idea that B, this should be Earth over here to the right somewhere. So we're getting these scary flares that we just missed if you watched the last couple of videos. Now, we know that all this planets up here exist, okay? They're all here, and they ain't fooling your eyes either. Check that big out there. Now, I don't believe that is the M, M48, M50. I don't believe that is 4950 or whatever the mass, because that's what it is. M48, 4950, that's what they call those masses, and there's lots of other numbers too. Now, I'm not going to go more than 400%, but there you go. A cluster of planets there, and that also there that is way bigger than Jupiter, and you can't miss this here. I mean, it's if you just keep an eye right here, it almost looks like, you know, you can't miss that little sphere right there. There's a round circular object there. And actually, when you even just pump it down, we'll go down on on size. And you'll still notice that at about 150, you can't miss that little spot up there. Okay? So, massive stuff out there in space. Lots of stuff that they don't want us to know about. 
Now, not only watch this video of mine here that I got here, but make sure you go back through all my videos and watch last fall's solstice action in the meatball and everything that we caught last fall, okay? And in the spring and late winter, okay? Now, remember, when we look at the data, and I basically believe it was from this here, where you're going to go down and you're going to see this 7.8. I know I'm getting repetitive, but I mean, there it is, 7.8 Columbia, you see? So the USGS takes a lot off a lot of the readings. And we'll pop over here to RSOE and scan up, and you can just get any information that was there and also see what's going on. And then Puerto Rico is pretty much getting some more action here above Columbia. 3.3. And then the, uh, I'm not sure if we're over there by the boot there on that. But that's Turkey. Turkey's been getting action. Italy's been getting a lot of action. Norway has been getting some action. Uh, the volcanoes are acting up again. This one here out there is also on the Lucians. Also, where we're getting a lot of running on on the quakes. Uh, as far as RSOE, it looks quiet there. I go over to Earth Scope, and we still got a, not too long ago action. And okay, there's your latitude longitude. You're not really worried about that too much because it'll give the name of the object to the left. And there we go, and we'll scroll down through this data here. Six point zero in the Solomon Islands. That might have been higher too. You never know when they take some off of these. Five point three, chilly there. Probably coming off of more than likely what we were seeing in Colombia, not that far away. Five point seven, Tonga Islands. There should be some pretty good depth there. One hundred and four point five. Yep. And the other ones are not lies. They actually happen. I'm basically scrolling through fast, so basically I'm losing track. West Virginia had a lot of action. Eastern Minnesota, and then I remember uh, if you go back to my last couple of videos, I showed you that, that basically we had one out in North Dakota, and I felt it woke me up. It's basically weird. It wakes you up because I always woke up to the ones in Cali too. Middle of the night they'd rumble, and this is your. I was going to your active volcano there, and it popped up to that. So anyway, I'll just go through here. Remember, you got active tropical storms, and there's your volcano action, and then this is our, ooh, they've shortened up, they've shortened up the, what, we're, they were sh what we were showing, but the idea that what I was trying to show you before was the size, the big stuff that we got coming around, so go to NASA NEO and check, click here, you can go to NASA NEO and they'll let you know, you can go through the information. They're getting, uh, I, I think people are getting freaked out and starting to get worried to actually waking up. But the idea is really nothing to worry about. I mean, last year was very volatile, and we'll be volatile this fall too. And it's just going to see what Mother Nature and the Earth can actually do for us to uh, make everybody wake up. So anyway, uh, go check out the latest because I was showing you before. Go check out the last couple of videos, and I showed you the data of all the big objects coming around, and the one real fast on the fourth, I think it is. Okay, so let's go back over here and scroll through the data on the quakes. There's the Columbia stuff, very important. 7.8, it's just a couple of ticks off of an 8. And it's going to be interesting to see what USGS lies to us about. And let's go to the graphs real fast. I'll hit the second page on here. Not really going to make any statements. Just basically, well, I'll bap. Remember, always watch the, the magnitude right here on this line here when I start the page. So much we get pretty much we get the whole ring of fire and everything here there you go 3.7 up in Alaska and then you get the overlay I put the satellite in and I also put the fires on so we can cruise on down here and as you can see the earth is a burning because the Sun and the super giants are putting off a lot of heat and more than like basically actual factual more the super giants okay now it'll double up here on the map but we'll come actually come back across over here and as you see the big stuff down in Chile 7.4. Let me see if I can scoot that up since it's showing it low. 7.4, 7.3, but we know that basically one registered at 7.8. Utah, 2.9. And remember, you've seen the other stuff that was current to the east. 
and currently these fires here and so forth going on in the United States. Okay, the other map was pretty good. We'll basically zoom in here real fast. Scoot it down. So I'm going to get a hold of USGS, tell them to get the ink cartridges out because the Earth has decided to shake its ass off again like we're crazy. It's going to be interesting what we see at Antarctica. Remember now, it's winter season down in Antarctica, so it's more ice or anything down there. And on their northern part, that's our eyeball going through space like I've always showed you on the Aurora. Basically the whole world. And KC Station, there you go, KC Antarctica starting to shake its ass off again. Now we've seen way worse than this before, folks, okay? So, but we're going to be starting getting back into that where our ass end might be dancing again. And as far as it goes, the more snow and ice they get down there right now, to give the more ballast that we get going through space. Keep our rotation where we want it to be. Uh, and when we see uh, Disney Wilderness Preserve here, now we have to remember, folks, basically Disney made a lot of money, and that's named after them. But we also got the parks. Hey, it's interesting that, hey, we can take the kids and the grandkids to the park now and basically can have a brewski now without sneaking it in. So anyhow, there's Norway going really wild, going crazy again. Finland. Also, very steady ground over there. More Norway stuff right there. Kongsberg. All right, let's keep going through the status, scrolling down. So basically, the whole world's a shaking again. A little bit thicker and darker ink this time than we did the last one. Uh, 7.8 is a lot more than what we had of the 6. Point something that was in the ocean. 6.5, 6.7, 6.8, and then it went all the way up to shook its shivering timbers all the way up to Alaska. So that's all the data there on that. Latest graphs, 2.55 p.m. Central Standard Time in Football City here at the pub. Now remember, East Coast, I've been trying to tell you that you've been shaking. And there's a, the latest one there, the, it's like good size anyway, 3.1 magnitude. Okay, and I already showed you the Canadian one up there at BC. Far east side of BC, well, up there in the Rockies. So. And as you see on the Canadian graph here, basically, it's picked up on the high and low end again. We were only high and low over here on the right. So then we get it all the way across and we get that action. Let's go ahead and go down here and see what we got on the data. And we're getting low spikes, so it's neutralizing itself on low. And then we get a big quake in Columbia. We'll go see what they've got going on on that pressure. And basically cross-phasing and going up. Our electrons and cross phasing here and cross phasing here and pretty much wanting to do it here too. Look at a spike we get here and matching with this spike here. Let me get over and we'll see how we moved out of those C's. And basically, we, we ended up going a high spike here that you don't see on the graph. And we get another high spike here. See, we're getting all kinds of C's. We're going to be lucky if nothing doesn't hit Earth. And we go up to the graph here in a minute. Let me come down and give us the pressure again. And here go look, look at our ionospheric pressure. And as you can see, we're weak here. So basically, those quakes you saw that we've already given you the info, we might get some more t big tumblers in that in those areas. And so as you see, when we've seen those seas all over the map, you got to remember that we get stuck with the information that you're going to get up here because of the actual factual, see, the government is on the weekend is closed up, so they don't get a chance to give us the newest. Now this data is updated, but they don't give us the quote whether it's quiet or picking up or the other. You see, and our coroner, our ass in is hanging out again. That's why we got and we have that. Ant, remember, you've seen on the graphs the earthquake activity at the Antarctica. Well, we're going into the summer solstice. I mean, the fall solstice, uh, and then let's go take a look and give you. Uh, fireball. And this is our latest CME action off the sun too, like that one just barely missed. We're going to get some tail action out of that a little bit. Basically will be hitting us on the date that's tied with the clock in the upper corner, upper left hand corner. I go to fireball and give you distances, but right now we got a volcano that's opened up over in China. So that's fresh there. Check the unusual area out for a tornado. Also, we had a flash flood in the same general area over there in Spain and Portugal area. Now, folks, this ionosphere, uh, basically atoms from uh, the nuclei and also Mother Nature from this object in space, electrical. And it's just building and building. And this is the worst since 2006. So, got to keep an eye on this. This is getting crazy. And then we'll have Fireball, the next one. And we'll see.